I think people think prenups are for like only the Kardashians. No. Like this is for moving forward. It involves kids. It involves finance. Doesn't involve kids. Doesn't. Kids won't be in a what, prenup. Explain a pre- prenup. Prenup will ha- will involve setting forth how you want to treat your property and your earnings after marriage. Mm-hmm. Okay? It can involve child custody. Can't mm-hmm. involve child support because mm-hmm. you don't know what you're going to be making and you can't contract for that because that's not your right. That's the kid's right. Mm-hmm. So we're not talking about kids in a prenup. But you can talk about... Anything I make, I want to keep as my separate property. Right. I've been a I've been a comedian and an actor for several years, and I've made who I am. And I don't think that just because I go now make another show, he should be entitled to half of it right off the bat. That doesn't make sense to right. me. But I'm willing to put 50% of everything I make into a joint account so that 50% of everything I make can be kind of the things we grow and move from. I'm willing to gift a portion of the house I own every year to him that we stay together. And you can also put testamentary things. Was that the word you were thinking of? Into, definitely not. Okay. Def- I definitely did not know that word. If, if you're marrying someone that's a lot older or younger and one person might die first, you can put in there that because you can always change your will, but you can't change your prenup. So you got the guys Wait, that are like, whoa, whoa! Right. You can't change a prenup after you've already, you. You can if you both agree. But let's say oh. the guy has a will, and the will says, "I'm going to give everything to my lovely wife. She's been so wonderful for 35 years." And then in like year, you know, the last year, he maybe falls ill. He's in the hospital. And he's got this super hot poison Filipina him. caretaker. <laughs> And all of a sudden, at the last minute, on his own, he gives everything to her. Okay? (laughs) You can do that. But if you write a prenup that says, no matter what happens, I'm giving at least 25% to my lovely wife, that can't be changed. Yes. Or unless the wife came in and said Does that happen a lot? Like at the buzzer, deathbed? What? Yeah. People get nuts. So this is what's so fascinating to me is like, you're an incredibly, like, your job is to be incredibly factual, literal- with people that are incredibly emotional. Yes. And again, it's it. what's interesting to me and why I've been doing it for so long is it's super interesting. So you get like bankers and financial geniuses and then you get actors and then you get football players and then you get rock stars. All these people that you think are like invincible, unstoppable, have everything in the world and then they're just like vulnerable and Puddles like mush. help me, help I me. I know everything about them. I know how much pubic hair they have. <laughs> I don't need to, but they need to tell me this information. I know we're crying <laughs> and there's snot and like in the middle of the night and then it's over and I never see them again. Like I'm at a restaurant and I have like, I get laid like, across the room like, Hey. Yeah. Which is fine because like I learned early on, like you, I represent the worst time of their life. And the most they can do is be like, dude, she got me out of it. She's awesome. You how much her. of your job is like emotionally placating people and how much? It- a lot. A lot. But also imagine most of my clients are in therapy. Therapists are like even the really good ones, three or four hundred dollars an hour. Crazy. I'm nine fifty. And I'm a hot mess. I You're 950 an hour. I wasn't married to this. This is gonna dads. be a short podcast, guys. <laughs> I normally go four hours. It took me an hour to get here. I, 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 I was like, where's Woodland Hills? I don't understand. I, I grew it up in a thousand dollars just to get her here. That's <laughs> how expensive Laura Wasser is. <laughs> Incredible. So yeah, I mean, there's 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 a lot of the emotional, but there's also if you're a good family law attorney, you can draw the line and be like, look, I'm not your friend. We're not going to have this a glass is the of wine l- together and talk about your next boyfriend. That is for your friends or your mom or your sister or your therapist. I can apply the facts of your situation. And I can also tell you, hey, I've been doing this for 25 years. This too shall fucking pass. We're going to get you through this. You will be okay. What's the biggest mistake you see people consistently make over and over again when they come into your office? Thinking with their, you know, not making business decisions. This is a business decision that you're making. Getting married is a business decision. As is getting divorced. Wow. Yes, it is. Because you can love someone forever, Mm -hmm. but you can't always be married to them forever. That's right. And love goes in and out. Lust goes in and out. Yes. Like goes in and out. Like goes in and out. I will always love you. I do not like you so much right now. (laughs) It's like the the people that I follow on Instagram, the people I love the most, sometimes I got to mute. Yeah. For so, you know, sometimes I got to mute you, you know? And 
Um, do you ever feel have people come in your office that you're like, this is premature? Yes. You're this is irrational. Yes. You should stay in this. Yes. And I have seen people. Do you feel like people are too are, like, have you noticed over your uh, uh, career people being too quick to get divorced these days? No. Here's why. Yeah. Because it's very expensive to hire me. So yeah. Not yeah. too quick. However, I, I think, you know, I have an online divorce website. Yes. It's over easy. We will have a lot of people. You're register. making it too easy to get divorced. <laughs> we will have. A Are lot you of why the divorce rate is so high? <laughs> no, but w that has really skyrocketed yeah. over the pandemic. Whereas our firm has pretty much, we're always busy. It's always consistent. We don't have more calls. I think actually people have gotten closer during the pandemic and reestablished mm. family values and how it works. And I've seen a lot of families where. Dad might be the breadwinner and mom might be the stay home mom, and yet dad's now doing cooking a couple nights a week. And dad might be more, you know, doing I love that the, the remote learning with the kids. I love the pandemic has been so funny to me because um, all my guy friends have called me and it's made them realize how much their wives do. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> like they're home all day. I'm home all day with the kid and I'm cooking. I have to make breakfast, lunch and dinner. It's like, yeah, women have been doing this be doing. all this yep. time. Yep. Just FYI, the pandemic, it's like, like all my guy friends, like my wife is like a superhero. She's just well, done this every day. Thing. The working moms that were already working. And now, I mean, we do that both. <laughs> Because when I say, like, stay home parent, for whatever reason, a lot of the times the dads are like, well, where's the nanny? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> I'm the nanny. You know, you're, you're, yeah. I remember um, uh, uh, who was, I was talking to a friend of mine, and the dad uh, said something about uh, their kid. And was like, oh, well, we need to get someone to, um, I, I, I don't have time to babysit the kid. And she goes, it's not babysitting. It's you're your kid. The, it's your right. kid. Right. It doesn't, it's not babysitting. It's called parenting. Right. <laughs> and you're not doing me any favors. Yeah, no, no, you, you don't get up. points right. for that. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like parenting is... I think that has changed a bit during this thing. I wonder what will happen afterwards. Do you, uh, do you feel like more people are breaking up because of the pandemic or people are hunkering down? I'm going, at the you know beginning, what? beginning, I was saying, I think people were breaking up. I think the prospect of doing this, now I think the ones that have stayed have hunkered down. I mean, we'll see. I think it's an interesting time. It's an interesting reevaluation of your relationship. I mean, my I have different relationships with my friends than I used to have. So true. So true. I, it, it really is like, are you worth dying for? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are the friends I talk to. I'm or like, or even are you worth being uncomfortable for? Yes. Like, go, I mean, I don't, eh, I don't it's like so you enough to sit six <laughs> feet away in the cold. I mean, like, I, I like you, but I don't want to hang out. Be with like, you. huh? <laughs> like, I, I, I don't like you enough to listen to you through a mask. Right. Right. Like, you're not entertaining enough to like have to do this. For uh huh. Me. It's true, and and it makes you think, and or or even going out. I mean, we couldn't for a while. Now we can't. So like, you know, I used to go out three or four nights a week. Yeah. Now I go out like one night a week and I'm still like, God, that telenovela that I'm watching <laughs> on Netflix, I'm really into it. Is Anna going to have the baby or not? <laughs> Do you um, get annoyed? Like, because yeah. I was thinking, 